Oh, sorry. I was just trying to figure out how to adjust columns in Coda. Luckily, I figured it out, and I have this Coda tip for you. So, for our columns, right here, I've got some that are really long. And I could say, you know, for this one, objectives for the whole team, and I can drag it out. Like, that's fine. I could do the same here for key results and milestones, drag it out. But maybe that's just too wide for me, right? Like, ah, oh, too much, too much. Maybe I really, really want it to be that length. Well, it's fine because I can just drag this right here to give myself some space. And notice it's now really allowing us to expand and have a lot of space and exactly how we want it to be. So that's the first thing to know about your columns. Just drag down and you've got all the space you need. But maybe I've got a really wide table and it's starting to expand and I want to really be able to see my objectives on every step of the way. Well, what I can do is I can just click on this little menu here. I can choose freeze and I can say freeze up to this column, one column, all that good stuff. So I'm going to say two columns. And now as I scroll, that's going to stay completely stuck in one spot and I don't have to worry about kind of moving back and forgetting my context and pulling out my rulers and anything like that. So drag down to give yourself some space, drag out to give yourself some space, and freeze if you ever want to keep that context, keep that anchor the entire way through. So I'm going to start measuring something else now. <laughs> 